Hello everybody, Zyvox here, and today we're gonna to talk to you about horses. So, let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need when dealing with horses is a horse paddock that holds all the horses. So if you go into your store and you go into placeables and go under animal pens and you scroll over to host paddock, this one holds eight at 50,000, this one holds 16. I'm gonna go ahead and get the largest one and if you place it down like i like this spot right here there you go that's a horse paddock the second thing you're going to need that's placeable is if you go into your miscellaneous and you pick yourself up a water station and i would put the water station kind of out of the way this looks like a good spot and right there and that's what you need for placeables now you need horses so this is the front of the stable where i put it down and if you go over here to the right and you go into this box right here you're going to see a little prompt for animal dialogue you hit your button and then you can actually go into the animal dealer so you can buy horses this way right it will cost you so i'm just going to go ahead and grab uh this say two of them right i'm gonna grab the black one and I'm gonna grab this one, the seal brown. It's gonna cost $300 to bring the horse in. And then if you sell it this way, it's gonna cost $300 out. So keep that in mind for later. Now, the second way of getting horses is if you go into your store and you go under tools and you go to the animal transport, there is only one way to transport horses, and that is with the Big Masters Western WCF. I'm going to go ahead and lease one of these and then you're going to need a truck or a tractor to transport this like so and then the next thing you need to do is go into your map and you need to find your animal dealer which it is right there so I'm going to tag the place I'll meet you right over there that way we can pick up some horses I am at the animal dealer now and what you do is you just put your vehicle in the cell point. Now you can open the animal dialogue and you're already at the animal dealer. So you just scroll down until you find horses, which I'm going to pick up two grays. And if you notice this way, if you buy horses this way, there's no fee. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those up. Horses are now in the back, even though you cannot see it. Let me see if I can unfold it. There you go. They're back there. And now I'm going to meet you at the animal pen and we're going to put these horses in the pen. We are now back at the horse stable. I'm just going to call it stable from now on just to keep everything nice and neat. And now we just want to take the horses and put them back in the stable. So you go to the shed, you go inside the box, you open up the animal dialogue and you just take the horses and you just move them back in. This works both ways. So if say you wanted to take some out. Well, you have to confirm first, but if you wanted to take some out, you just do the same thing in reverse. Horses are now in the stable, so let's talk about what the horses need. For that, we're going to need to go into the menu and go into the animals tab, and we're going to talk about this menu right here. So the first little bar, that is how fit your horse is. This is the health of your horse, and that is how clean the horse is and under conditions these are what the horse needs okay so we're going to talk about getting these needs up first for that we're going to need water okay at the beginning of the video we've already placed down the water station so now we need a way to transport that water so if you go into the store and you go under animals you want the aquatrans 7300s this is the one you're going to want and you're going to be using this almost every day so i would suggest buying this one you do not need these bigger ones they're not necessary you do not need them please don't waste your money just use a smaller one you'll be much happier okay so we're just going to use my truck we're going to pick it up like so if i could drive and there we go i'm going to meet you at the stable and i'm going to show you the next step we are now back at the stable and that is the water station right in front of us so you just take 
this and put it right next to it and you start to fill with your fill button you fill it all the way up with water and if you look at the bottom you can actually see the water filling up I'm gonna let this go to a hundred percent okay at a hundred percent now you go to the stable and if you go on the left side you're gonna see this box right here it's gonna prompt at the bottom and then you just unload it you actually check in the animals menu water is going up oh, water is full so that is how you deal with water now what I would suggest is you just leave this right here and the next time you need to fill you just back up into this and you pick it back up and you fill it back up and leave it where it is we have the water taken care of now we need straw oats and hay don't worry about the hay pellets that's for a mod just worry about the hay there are two main ways of doing this the first way of doing it and the easiest way is just to go to the store and buy everything and not harvest it and the second way of doing it is to harvest things yourself and save yourself a bunch of money in the long run we are going to talk about the first way of doing it that is going to the store buying everything and then bringing it back to the stable so let's get to the store okay we're at the store and we're talking about the first way of doing it which is buying everything yourself now the first thing you're going to need is a tractor with a front loader attachment so like if we go into medium and we click on this t6 series you can see down here that it has the ability to have a front loader attachment but if you scroll a little bit let's say we go to this one the 6m series this one does not have the ability to have a front loader attachment i already have a tractor i picked up this john deere and i've already put on a front loader attachment now we need a front loader attachment to go with our tractor so if you go under tools you go under front loaders and for me i'm going to go ahead and pick up this john deere one we're going to buy this one since i'm going to be using it a lot and the second thing you're going to need is ability to move pallets so we're going to go ahead and pick up this pallet fork okay and if you don't know how to use this i'm going to go ahead and show you just kind of drive up to it Oh, there you go and that attaches to the front of my tractor and now you need to put the pallet fork on the front loader itself and now we're attached all right we have our tractor but now we need the ability to shred up straw so if you go to tools and you go under animals tab and you scroll over to the right you're going to be looking at these right here these shred up straw and turn it into bedding for the animal itself we want the one that goes with our tractor which is this one here see the fz30 and fz60 that fits on that tractor so we go to this one and we lease this one what's going to happen is that you take the straw you put it inside here and you hook it back up to the tractor and it's going to spit out the bedding on the floor this guy does the exact same thing except for he goes on the back side of the tractor. You put the straw on the back and he shoots out the bedding from the left or right side, depending on how it goes. This one looks like it's going on the right side. We are going to use this one today, the DE551FL. And how you use that one is you take your tractor with the front loader attachment, you drop the pallet fork, and you go up to this shredder that's what I like to call it and you attach it and now it is attached but it comes with a pallet or a bale spike on it so if you switch it and then you detach oops that's the wrong one let's see there you go the last one and there's your bale spike so it comes with two you would take pick up the straw you would put it inside the shredder and then you would hook it back up like so and turn it on I'm gonna show you this later but I just want to show you a quick demonstration how it works okay you have your shredder you have your tractor you have your front loader but now you're gonna need a way to move bales and pallets the first way I would recommend if you're not gonna do 
a whole bunch. You're just looking to move a little bit. I would recommend getting the SEK802 under trailers and then just transform it into a bale loading wagon. This is going to have straps right here and you can load up your bales and your pallets at the same time and then just use your tractor to transport it. But if you're going to move more than this and you don't want to make multiple trips, you want to make one big trip, I would recommend you go under bailing technology and you can go all the way to the right until you get to this so dpw 210 this one opens up this will flop open and you can load everything here and most likely this will just take you one trip and you won't have to make multiple trips so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna lease this guy oh second thing we're gonna need is if you go into the store and you go into objects, you're obviously gonna need some bales. So we're gonna need some straw. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two straw. And we're gonna need some hay. Go ahead and grab two hay. And we're gonna need a way to feed the horses. So if you go into big bags and you go over here to oats, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one oats and two oats. And that is what we need if we were just buying everything. I'm going to load this up. I'm going to take it over to the stable. And we're going to talk about feeding the horses. And the second step, which is if you wanted to just harvest everything yourself. Hey, I just wanted to show you this real quick, just in case you haven't seen this trailer. If you just hit your unload button, you can now see how it opens up. Now you can load everything all at once. I have everything at the stable now, and now we're gonna talk about feeding. So we're gonna go and do oats first. So we have our front loader with the pallet attachment to it. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the pallet with the oats in it. I'm going to attempt to pick up the pallet with the, to with the oats in it. Okay, I got it. And then what you do, it's pretty simple, is you take the pallet and you just drive it to this box and that is it. You let this go. It feeds your horses. It goes until it's empty. You can actually see the oats going up right there. And then all it's going to do is disappear. Rinse and, compete and repeat. And that's how you feed the horses oats. We have the oats taken care of. We're now going to talk about hay. Now with hay, you're going to need a bell spike. And if you brought the equipment I taught you to brought, is you disattach it. It's going to have a bell spike built into it and you go to the last little dash you unload it and there is your bell spike if it would let go and there you go there's your bell spike i'm gonna go ahead and grab some hay from the trailer that i just put up with all the goodies on it if i can drive <laughs> there you go Hook into your hay, grab your hay out, take it to the box, and this should just disappear as soon as I get it in the right position. There you go. Just disappears into the stable. And if you check your pen, you now have hay inside your pen or stable, and you just rinse and repeat. You keep adding, adding hay until it's full, and then you can just relax for a little bit. We are now going to talk about straw. Okay, now we're going to talk about straw. So if you go to your straw bale and you pick it up like so, you need to shred it. So what you do is you take the bale and you drive it over to this machine and you put it inside. Let's see if I can do this on the first try. And it's in. Go down, reattach this back. See, there's straw inside. And now you want to take this to the left side of the pen. Right here, it's going to prompt you. See how it says straw? Hit your button. And now straw is going into the pen. You actually fit, see the straw going into the pen. Now, that was for people who were just going to buy the actual products themselves. 
Next, we're going to talk about harvesting everything yourself and doing it that way. Now, I understand that this next part is going to be a bit complicated. I'm going to give you a short rundown version of what you need to get this going. But for any reason that you have more questions, you can always ask down in the comments about what you need or you can check out the two videos that i'm gonna put down which is a beginner's farm tutorial and a bailing tutorial down below in the description to get you guys going okay with that out of the way the first things you guys are going to need is you're going to need fields you need at least two you're going to need one with grass and one with oats right the grass is where you're going to get the hay from and the oats is where you're going to get the oats and the straw from now to the shop you're now at the shop and we're going to talk about the oats portion of harvesting everything first so you can keep you give you a quick breakdown of what you need and i'm going to show you real quickly how it works so if you go into your shop the first thing you're going to need is the ability to actually harvest the oats so a harvester is going to be helpful here for this demonstration i'm just going to use this guy right here and go ahead and lease him then he's going to need his attachment so he needs the ability to harvest the oats so we go into the headers i'm gonna go ahead and pick up a header for him right uh your tractor is going to need the ability to transport everything so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up the hkd 302 go ahead and lease him okay and then the byproduct of oats is straw so you're going to need an ability to pick up the straw now there's two ways of doing this you can obviously bail right if you go into bail technology you can bail everything and then transport it that way that is a whole another topic and if you want to get into that i would suggest looking at my bailing tutorial but for me the more easier way of doing things is to just use a loading wagon i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this guy right here we're gonna go ahead and buy him Okay, I'm gonna meet you at the fields. I'm gonna show you how all this stuff works out and how it works with your stable. We are now at the field with the harvester. This is the oats field. I'm gonna go ahead and hire a worker. Remember when you're doing this, do not disable your straw swap. You're going to need the straw swap. That um, stuff that's coming outside the back of the harvester is the straw swap. And then as you're harvesting, you're picking up oats. So I'm gonna let this run for a little bit, let it get full, and then I'm gonna show you the next step, which is just actually feeding the horses. My harvester has now been running for a while and he is ready to go. So I'm already lined up. I'm just gonna go to the harvester. I'm gonna pick up the oats. This is gonna take a little bit. It's gonna let it run for a little bit, pick up some oats. Uh, I would say uh, for this demonstration, 13% is okay. We're going to go. Now we're going to go to the stable and we're going to feed the horses. Now you don't need to do anything special. All you need to do is go up to the part where you feed the horses like so and you just tip it in. And if you look in the animals tab, you can now see that oats are going in. The oats are now taken care of. Now we need to deal with the straw. So I already have my loading wagon hooked up. And if you just lower it and turn it on and then you drive over the straw swath, you're now going to collect some straw. I'm just going to pick up a little bit. Let's say 5%. Okay, you're obviously going to want more. I'm going to pick it back up, turn it off. And now all you do this is probably the way why I like it this way because this all you have to do is pick it up. You drive over to where you need to do the bedding for the horses and the pen and then you just unload it. And there you go. That's the straw portion. We are at the store. We are going to start talking about the hay portion of the horses. For that, you're going to need some things. You're going to need a tractor. You're going to need the ability to cut the grass okay and then you're going to need ability to turn the grass into hay with these tethers i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this guy right here i'm gonna go ahead and lease him and with the grass 
mowers. You're going to need some mowers. I'm going to pick up this guy and this guy. Okay, I would suggest that you pick up a wind rower. We're going ahead and use this guy. And you're going to need the ability to move the hay once it's done. And for that, you're just going to need a loading wagon. You can reuse the loading wagon that you're using for straw. That's where you're going to need for the grass portion. I'm going to get this all together. I'm going to mow some stuff down. And I'm going to show you how what to do with the grass. We are at our field and we need to cut the grass. I just want to remind you guys that I do have the baling tutorial that goes through all this in depth. I'm just going to show you the quick steps on how to get this going. All right? So we cut the grass. Grass is now cut. We need to turn the grass into hay now. So we use the tether. Let's hire a worker. He starts going. And now the grass is hay. Our field is mostly hay now, but now we need to make this easier for the loading wagon to pick up. So this is where the wind rower comes in. We just use the wind rower. I'm going to hire a worker. He's going to use the wind rower to make one nice long line for the loading wagon to pick up. This also works for straw as well, just in case you didn't know. So I'm going to let him do his job and then we're going to go on to the loading wagon. Okay, the hay is now in neat little rolls for us to pick up. I'm going to go ahead and load it up. Oh, forgot to turn him on. Let me turn it on. All right, we're picking up the hay. I don't need much to show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and get 5%. Looks good. Turn him off. And just like the straw all we need to do is find the correct spot on the stable and unload it so for that it's on the back side of the stable which is right here right where you put the oats go there it's going to prompt you to unload it you unload it and now the hay is taken care of Horses are now fed. If you look down below, you can actually see the results, right? We fed it, so 60% on the oats, and we have hay in there, that's 40%, and we also have water, so their effect effectiveness for training is at 100%. We need to take care of training and cleaning. So the first thing you need to do is train the horse. So if you go to the pen, you can open it, or you can just hop over it, and all you're gonna do is jump on a horse like so and train the horse okay i'm actually going to go somewhere where it's a straight line and show you something real quick now when you're training the horse you do not need to run like you don't need a sprint there's no jumping required all that was required to do is to ride the horse for five minutes so what i like to do is I take the horse, I get it on a straight path, and I let him go. And then I check the horse as we're going. See how we're at 10% already? I'll let that go to 50%, then I'll turn around and go back to the pen, and he'll be done training for the day. So I'm gonna skip ahead, show him at 50%, and show you back at the pen, and go on to the next step. Okay, we've been walking for a while. This total train time for real life time takes about five minutes. So if we look in our animals and we check on our horse, we are already at 50%. So what I do is just turn them back around and walk them to the pen. And as we get there, he'll hit 100% and then we get to switch to the next horse. Okay, so some things that you need to know as we're going back to the pen is that this will not improve until the next day. So the next day will hit and then his training will go up by 10%, which is 10% each day. It will take 10 days to fully train this horse. As you train the horse, the health will go up. And cleaning, I'm going to show you that when we get back to the pen. We are now back at the stable and Prince is at 100%. Now we just need to bring him back. Now you don't need to bring him through these doors. You can actually just speed up and jump right over into the pen. And then you get off and he'll be back in the stable. So if you jump off, he kind of just teleported around. Now we need to take care of 
cleaning him. He's at 45%. So all you do is go up to the horse and you see in the top left or the help menu, you press your button and just pat him down a little bit and he will be cleaned up 100%. So, okay, things you need to know as we're going is that it doesn't um, update until the next day. If you do not train your horse, you will lose training and the health will go down for the horse. The maximum value you can get for a horse is 50,000 and that's after 10 days of training. So I'm going to train this horse up and I will see you in 10 days. Okay, I just wanted to show you this um, as we're going. We just hit midnight and it ticked over to the next day. And if you go into animals, this is Apple. Uh, we just fed Apple. Apple's health has gone back up, but the uh, training has dropped down 2% and the value has dropped down 2%. Now, if you go to Prince, which this is the one that we trained yesterday, training has gone up 10%. The value of Prince has gone up 5% and everything else is looking great. So $5,000 per day of training. Just want to let you guys know that real quick. Now we're going to skip forward to the 10th day. Okay, so I am actually on the third day. I just want to give you a little update. I wanted to show you Prince. Prince is on the third day. I'm training him right now. He's at 16,000. And I want to show you I made a mistake. I want to uh, roll it back a little bit. You do not need to train the horse to increase the health. All you need to do is feed the horse. So I'm going to go ahead and keep going with Prince. And I'll catch you back here. Okay. So I need to speed things up. We're going to assume that for this video, we're just going to pretend that Prince is up to 100%, right? He's worth $50,000 right now. And now we want to sell him. There are two ways of selling him. We need to go to this little box right here. You can hit your animal dialogue. You can go to Prince and you can just sell him as it is right now. It will cost you $300. But let's say you didn't want to do that. You did not want to waste that $300 and you have a trailer. The second way of doing this is if you take the trailer, you go to the same box and you hit your button and you take prints and you load them on the trailer, confirmed. And then you, oh, you can't really see him. Let me see if I can unfold him. There you go. He's on there. And then you take him to the animal dealer. So I'm gonna meet you at the animal dealer and show you the last step. I am now at the animal dealer and just like before, we go in the box, we open up the animal dialogue and now we sell prints, you just click on him. See, there's no fee, we can go ahead and sell them. And now for the sake of this tutorial and the speed up time, we're just gonna assume that I went 10 days and he's worth 50,000, so you sell. And that's how you sell your horse. And that's how you train your horses. That video took me a long time. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll try to get to your questions as they come. And you guys have a nice day.